after a very stressful and eventful group stage we are in the second round of the euros and we've got a massive game against portugal but in shock surprise news cristiano ronaldo has retired before the tournament began so can that help us as we attempt to prove that I'm tailor-made to win the Euros? Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, TaylorMade Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And today, we've got episode four of Taylor made to win the Euros and what a game it is today we have got Portugal in the second round of the Euros and wow oh, this should be a very good game lots of memories of games against Portugal in the Euros I'm sure are flooding around everybody right now including one particular game with a certain little winker who is not going to be involved in this one, thank God, because Cristiano Ronaldo has decided to retire. No idea why. No idea what's gone on behind that decision. But that is a thing that has occurred. And, well, before we get in to today's game, I just want to once again say thank you to Dodgy Gamer, who made the database who made this series possible please do go and check out his channel he does a lot of fabulous content i'm going to be linking down below to his video explaining this database and introducing it and in the description of his video are the links to go and download these files for yourself so you can give this a go yourself so yeah please do go and check him out he's this close to a thousand subscribers if you haven't already go and sub to him because he is a bloody phenomenal guy go and check him out and well shall we get into our game i think we should we have had only two days gap in between our czech republic game and this one so that means we have made a load of changes in fact, only one player is a little bit tired. In f everybody else is fit, hopefully. I've lost count of the amount of changes we have made, but we've made a lot. Dean Henderson is in goal. Chilwell comes in at left-back. Dyer comes in at centre-back. Declan Rice keeps his place. He's still fit. And Trent Alexander-Arnold is the one player who I'm a little bit nervous about fitness-wise. But Aaron Wan-Bissika is still injured. Or in fact, he's just recovering from injury. So maybe if we get through, he might start the next game. And then in the midfield, we've gone for a 4-3-1-2 formation. As you saw in the last video, that worked really well for us in the second half against the Czech Republic. So the three in the middle is Grealish and Phillips as Mazzala's on attack. Jordan Henderson is an advanced playmaker on support. And then up front, it's Marcus Rashford as the shadow striker. That worked really well for us in the second half of that game. And then up front, it's Dominic Calvert-Lewin as a deep line forward. And up front, it's Harry Kane as a target man. Please let us win this. Please let us win this. Okay, here we are in the dressing room. I'm going to go pump my fists as ever. And I'm going to say, go out there and impress me. No reaction. Oh, my days. And it was seven changes from the last game that I made. I've just been told that in the build up to this game. And so, I've got no idea what to predict. I'm going to predict a nervy 1-0 win. That's what I'm thinking. But hopefully, it's going to be a bit easier than that. Here I'm on England. Seven minutes in, and it's Portugal with the first highlight. And, oh, we've got so lucky there. 
their shot banging off the post and into Henderson's hands. As now it's us coming forward. Arnold with the throw in goes back to Kane. Phillips. And Phillips, can he find a teammate? He's found Harry Kane. Harry Kane's in the box. And is that a penalty? Apparently not. But Arnold with the cross. Calvert-Lewin with the header. And Dominic Calvert-Lewin gives England an early lead against Portugal. Yes! What a very nice header that was. Let's check this out again. Kane lost the ball there. But Arnold with the cross. A beautiful cross. And Calvert-Lewin was never going to miss that. Oh, 12 minutes gone now. But we've won the ball back. Calvert-Lewin coming forward. And now, can he find a teammate? He has. He's found Henderson, who's out wide. He's trying to cut inside. He's into the box. He's gone for the cross, but that's been blocked. And now Jal Cancelo tries to clear it, but only goes as far as Chilwell for us. Ben Chilwell with the ball. Goes to Marcus Rashford. And Marcus Rashford, what can he do? Um, not much, apparently, but he's kept hold of it. Rashford now loses the ball. Grealish back to Chilwell with an early cross. Pepe heads away. Grealish again. Henderson. He's got a man out wide, but he can't find him. And now Portugal on the counter. Andre Silva going over the halfway line. Andre Silva coming through. Felix is in space. Felix with the shot. And he's hit the post again. Oh, twice we've been saved by the woodwork. Half an hour gone. Arnold with a throw in. Goes to Kane, but he is unable to keep hold of it. But Henderson gets it off Rui's clearance. Twice to Calvin Phillips. Back to Henderson. Henderson over the top. And Kane is in. Can Kane make it 2-0? Yes, he can. 2-0 to the England. Harry Kane, as cool as you like. And we are making this look easy. What a pass this was from Henderson, though. Right over the top. Waited perfectly for Kane. And Kane, it was a difficult one. But he made it look easy. Well, the half-time whistle has just gone. We are 2-0 up and we are cruising. We've had seven shots to their five. They've had none on target, although two did hit the post. So it could have been very, very different. We've had six on target. They've had an XG of 0 0.95. Ours is 0 0.76. And possession is split right down the middle at 50-50. So let's go dressing room. I'm going to go hands on hips. I'm going to say I'm very happy because for once I am. And yet everybody's inspired and motivated. Just got to hold on. Come on, boys. 30 seconds into the second half. Grealish with a corner. Kane nods it down. Goes to Dyer, who does a 1-2 with Rashford. And Dyer again gets it through to Kane. Kane through to Phillips is in space. It's 3-0. It's 3-0 to England. Oh my days. What a turnaround from the nerves of the Czech Republic game. Where it looked like we might have been going out in the first half of that. We are now dominating Portugal. And I bet Ronaldo is gutted that he's watching this at home. Oh, my days. 54 minutes gone. Portugal have got a foul. That's a free kick, surely. If he's giving that as a penalty, I'm dating Jesse Nelson. Because that was nowhere near inside the box. Come on, ref. You cannot be giving that. Come on, ref. You don't even need to look at it, surely. No penalty. Easy. I could do his job, but I'm too busy m managing England. Okay, half an hour left to go. And, well, wasn't expecting to be in the position to be able to make subs just to keep people fit. But that is exactly what we're doing. Ryan Bertrand is coming on at right back. Not his natural position, but it, we need to keep Trent fit. Foden has come on for Jack Grealish and Ivan Tony is up front for Harry Kane. 
Surely this game's over. Surely. Oh, before those changes can be made, Rashford has nicked the ball off Portugal. Phillips has got the ball. He's into the box. And yeah, I don't think anything's going to be happening here. As, oh, maybe I'm wrong. Ruben Diaz has gone long with a pass. Rice heads away. Henderson to Kane to Rashford. Kane again, out wide to Arnold. Has he got one last bit of magic before I take him off? The Arnold just gives the ball away. Come on, let's just get the ball out so we can make these subs. But Andre Silva's in. Andre Silva is in. Don't put the ball out like that. Yet put it out for a corner. That I am all right with. 66 minutes gone. Sergio with the ball to Danilo. Danilo just keeping hold of it for a second. Goes to Bruno Fernandes. Out wide to Jao Cancelo. And we're just keeping it nice and cool. Nice and calm right now. Because we are in a very dominating position. As now Fernandes is going to try a corner. But Dyer gets it away. And can Calvert-Lewin keep this ball? No he can't. Goes to Cancelo back. To Danilo. Guides. Silva. Fernandes, this is a very nice move from Portugal. And oh, it's 3-1. It's 3-1. Little bit of nerves coming in now. Oh, let's have a look at this again. Guides to Andre Silva. It was a very nice passing move all around our defence. Surely we can't throw this away. Surely. Two and a half minutes left. Dyer with one last highlight, maybe. He's tried to clear it away. Oh, no. Jota's in. Jota is in. And, oh. Oh, I was about to be very ill if that had gone in. Oh, no. Don't do this to me. The highlights are not ending. Jota back to Fernandez. Nelson Semedo. He goes for the long shot. And, thankfully, that's poor. Surely, that's game over. Referee. Where is your whistle? 30 seconds left now. Come on, just hoof this out, Bertrand. And that's exactly what he's done. Good boy. Knew I liked Ryan Bertrand. Now, come on. Come on, referee. Where is your whistle? As Rice has, Rice has won a free kick. I thought he'd given away a penalty then. But come on, ref. Come on, ref, there is no need for this. We have played. Rice goes long. Tony nods it back. Referee. Uh, Portugal have got a free kick, but it does not matter. We are through to the quarterfinals of Euro 2020. What a performance in the first half that was. Absolutely sublime. And we've got ourselves a 3-1 win. Portugal with 15 shots to our 13. 5 on target to our 9. An XG of 1.99 to 1.36. And possession still 50-50. Portugal may be a little bit unlucky. But I am going to take it. And we're going to go in the dressing rooms. Go hands on hips. I'm very, very happy. And now let's go forward and let's see who we're going to have in the quarterfinals before I let you go for today. The second round of the Euros has just finished. And now let's go through the results. We beat Portugal 3-1. Italy have beaten France 1-0. Croatia have beaten Holland by the same scoreline. Denmark needed penalties to get past Turkey after a 0-0 game. Spain only beat Scotland 1-0 after extra time. The last three games all finished 2-1. Poland beat in Switzerland. Belgium beat in Germany. And Slovakia beat in Austria. And so that all means that our next game is in the quarterfinal against Italy. Massive, massive game. Oh, my days. And so, that is where we are going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed this video and the series thus far, pop a massive thumbs up down below. 
subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2021 content and TEW 2020 content and a whole load of other stuff that is going to be coming to the channel. Subscribe for all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at TaylorMGaming. And yep, guys, that is all for me today. I shall see you next time. Come on, England.